The streets still bear the scars of last week's violence. Many are still trying to digest the sheer enormity of it. But the new authorities are now trying to understand exactly what happened, who the shooters were, and who gave the orders. <coughs> On Thursday morning, this street turned into a deadly firing range. Some of the shooting was coming from the protesters who'd suddenly charged on police lines. But most of the gunfire came from the police themselves and they were using snipers. So these originated from the top of the bank right. and then the second high vantage point was here. That, the round one, yeah. In Kiev today, British forensic experts were collecting evidence. And this, this was a high velocity round. So would that mean a sniper rifle or could that, could that just be an AK? I think this is sniper because um, the position over there near the metal lamppost, right. the, the bullet holes are very, very close together. They asked us to conceal their identities. Their work, they said, was politically sensitive. But there's one particular clean shot through here which lines up with the balcony over here. Using the bullet scars as their guide, they're trying to work out exactly where the snipers were positioned. You can look through here and you just see a direct line of sight with the balcony of the bank building over there. Wow, that's amazing how you can work that all out. Right, it was just a bloodbath really, wasn't yeah, it? Um, yeah, it was, yeah. Today, the new Ukrainian interior minister issued a warrant of arrest for the ousted president, Viktor Yanukovych, on charges of mass murder. Whatever the British investigators find here could be used in a future prosecution. We were looking at um, the, the, the sniper positions and, and who, was who would be responsible for the deaths of the people in that area. Well, the investigators say there were at least four sniper positions. One at ground level here at this barricade and then another three in the tall buildings behind it over there. And the snipers were shooting directly down this road in the direction of the hotel where we were staying and the square beyond. In the past 24 hours, new footage has emerged showing police marksmen at that barricade on Thursday. Most are armed with Kalashnikov assault rifles. But some are clearly carrying sniper rifles. A Ukrainian MP today said he'd uncovered documents that proved that the security operation that ended in so many deaths last week had been authorised at the very highest levels. There are documents with details of the whole security operation. I have made some of these papers public today. They contain the exact names and locations of the snipers and the names of those in charge. Kiev is now a city where law and order rests in the hands of loosely organized vigilante groups calling themselves self-defense of Maidan. They do more than just man barricades. They guard government buildings, saying they want to ensure an orderly handover of the state. We are closely cooperating with the state guards. For instance, in the presidential administration, it's state guards who control the building from inside. We are controlling the whole perimeter. So nobody is capable of entering building without our permission. If you control the buildings, who controls you? I think um, it's a good question. Um, no one. Look, there is a council of people who are with us. That's one thing. Who are Another these thing, those people are Sotniks, so heads of units. At night, these Sotniks roam the streets of the city, groups of menacing looking men clad in body armor, brandishing clubs. Last night, we saw a man being dragged off by one of these groups, destination unknown. The police have virtually disappeared. The hunt is now on for Viktor Yanukovych. At his opulent compound on the edge of Kiev, the only sign of him was on his personalized liquor bottles. 
Ordinary Ukrainians flocked there in their thousands, an eye-popping weekend outing. This was his floating banqueting hall. There was also a zoo, complete with ostriches and other possibly edible birds. The duck house, that ultimate symbol of corruption, was much in evidence. Where does the money come from? Uh, of course, of, from our oh, money, yeah. from in taxes. <laughs> yeah, from taxes. <laughs> and uh, my relatives and friends said that, uh, like a joke, everybody, uh, every teacher wants to have such building in Ukraine, and, every people. And do you think that one of the world's wonders is here? Ukraine's new leaders now face a confident, argumentative electorate. Outside parliament, politicians are called upon to explain themselves directly to the people. People. It's very, very difficult task, but I'm more than sure we want very much and we have control of the people. You don't they, have they, control, you don't control no, them. No, people control us. Yeah. Because they move the government away and if new government will be uh, work uh, bad, they move us. So it's but more much proof. more uh, badly because the people die for that. This time, people say we cannot just go back to business as usual. We've already paid too high a price.